Hey there, welcome to a brand new episode of Music Express. My name is Twan and in today's vlog you will see my interview with Kai Tressit about his classic Life is Too Short. But before we start with the interview, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and very important, also make sure to click the bell button because then you will get a notification the next time a new vlog is online. All right, here it is, the story behind Life is Too Short, my interview with Kai Tressit. Enjoy. Kai Tressit is a well-known name in the music scene for many years already. In the year 2001, his track Life is Too Short came out, which is based on a piece of music from Klaus Doldinger called Vloek auf dem Gluksdrachen, a track which was used in the movie Die Unendliche Geschichte, which is internationally better known as The Never Ending Story. Life is Too Short became a big success. It was Kai's first top 10 hit in his home country Germany and it is one of his most well-known releases so far. In this week's vlog you will hear the story behind Life is Too Short and more. My first question to Kai was if he could tell a bit more about how the track was born. Yeah, so uh, the other day I had the idea um, and uh, I went to the studio, produced it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I call uh, uh, the guy from Sony, uh, which is uh, Dick Dreyer, and he say, "Hey, I've got this idea. Can you, when you do, you want to listen to it?" And you know, at this time there was no. Uh, I think it was not the time here where you can send MP3s through the internet. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, but he was. He's coming from Berlin uh, to uh, my place, and uh, I say, "Yes, we should do this." And then they contact, uh, contact uh, the original uh, composers, and um, they make the deal. Okay. So I have to give all the music rights to uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, Klaus Dolinger. Uh, Klaus Dolinger. Yeah. Yes, he's a famous uh, musician for uh, movies and all this stuff. Yeah. And uh, so I have to give them all the music rights, mm -hmm. but uh, could uh, keep the, the lyrics right. Yeah, okay. So uh, the track contains vocals by uh, Vernon. Um, how did the two of you got to meet each other? That's a good question. <laughs> I have to ask Vernon, but <laughs> because I don't really remember. Um, I know that uh, Vernon, he did uh, a famous record for, uh, uh, for the in Logic Basement. Wanderer mm -hmm. was on IQ, I guess. Yeah, IQ. Yes, yes, yes. Which was uh, Sven Fate's uh, yeah. record label. But uh, I, I really don't know how we met each other. I think somebody introduced us. Yeah. But I, I was very happy with uh, his voice because I, I was always looking for uh, native speakers, some kind of. Mm -hmm. And um, so. Uh, the other girl I used uh, for most of the tracks before, she was working at the airbase in Frankfurt. She was a German, mm -hmm. but she was working there, so her English was pretty good. Pretty good. Yes, and uh, so I started to work with Vernon. Yes. Okay. Um, was there anything that did inspire you when you were writing the lyrics? Yeah, I mean, always life inspire you. Yeah. and. Um, there's uh, always going through a lot of stuff in your life and uh, a lot of, uh, of my lyrics was inspiring me. I mean, not, not the first lyrics, not like your own reality, but uh, the, um, most of the other lyrics I wrote uh, always with help uh, with, uh, uh, from other g uh, people. I remember that I think it was Destiny's Paris or so, I was in the airplane and the girl who's sitting next to me. You remember this time where we don't have iPads and all mm -hmm. the stuff in yeah. the planes, yeah. where people talk to each yeah. other? <laughs> or, or, or read magazines. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> or read magazines. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I think it was Destiny Pass, where, where some random girl at the airport or in the airplane was helping me with the lyrics. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, all, all, all the stuff with Vernon uh, was uh, involved too. He, he was also helping me because my English is very bad still, and um, most of the time I don't find the words I want to, to say. Yeah. And um, I, I always have a pretty good idea with lyrics or music, but uh, especially with lyrics, it's hard to um, get there. Yeah. 
So yeah, he was helping me. Okay, so uh, was the track finished already when you when you guys were writing the lyrics? Um, I guess so. Yes. Yeah. So can okay, you tell a bit more about the production process of uh, Life is Too Short? So this was uh, uh, in my studio, in my my house, my last house I, I, I've been living in. And I've got uh, two O2R digital desks at this time. Or, uh, let me think, because I had three di digital desks at mm -hmm. this time. It was two O2R, which a lot of producers have at this time, Yamaha. Then I went to uh, the Sony DMX R100. And uh, yeah, it should be on Yamaha or on the Sony desk. It could be on the Sony desk, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, and uh, what I was using at this time, I mean, Still the MS20 I'm using still, and um, the sampler, the strings. Oh, good question. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? It's been a long time. Yeah. Yes. So, do, do you still remember uh, who was the first person besides yourself and Vernon uh, to listen to the track once it was finished? Yeah, I think it was Dirk Dreyer. Okay. Yeah. Who was uh, who was working for Sony Music at this time, and also. Uh, just a little bit side story. He was the, the first guy uh, uh, sending me uh, Emily Lenz playing a trans and acid oh. on a big uh, festival. And he was posting it on Facebook and tagged me and say, hey, you see? The music we did uh, back in the days, it's still yeah. popular. Yeah. And it, this was one of the starting shots for me to think about to do music again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, re to, to, like, to return. Yeah, yeah to return yeah. because I was like, oh, if the young generation still like mm -hmm. the, the, the tracks I did back in the days, uh, maybe it's time to come back. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you got your first top 10 hit in Germany with this one. Uh, since in 2001, uh, Life is Too Short made it to the number nine uh, spot. The track also made it to the charts, uh, into the charts of Switzerland and Austria as well. Did you already have a feeling this would be a hit? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, but uh, Sony Music was like, yeah, this is great because there's a, a movie involved and it was a huge movie. And um, the, the, the downside uh, of all this is because uh, this contact was with Sony and with all the tracks, if you ever ask why we never get out of uh, German porn, because uh, they have uh, this deal with um, that every Sony uh, place in, in the whole world uh, have the rights for the song for, I don't know, six or nine months. Mm -hmm. And, and <laughs> like Sony UK was like, we will do it if it gets number one in Germany. Oh. And this is what all the other countries did. Yeah. And all the other, I think, I think it was Positivo or so, they say, oh, we want to do it. And they say, we can't give you the rights. Yeah, because Sony own the rights. Own the rights yeah. and they won't give it away. Oh. Because maybe it will get number one in Germany. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is why, uh, I mean, to have to deal with Sony was huge and amazing yeah. for me. But uh, we never get out of the borders. Yeah, some parts are like frustrating. Yeah, some parts yeah. are frustrating, yeah. yes. Life is a Short was a very successful release. Um, do you have any idea how many copies have been sold uh, during the years? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, it was, uh, yeah, and it was also the uh, uh, the point where all the big, big, big commercial radio stations came to me and invited me to an interview. Mm -hmm. So, and then I was go back to my studio and say, hmm, do I want to go this road? Yeah. And Sony Music like, okay, the next single, you have to be more like ATP with uh, singing stuff. And I say, hmm, but I feel very comfortable in this between underground and commercial. Yeah. Because I remember uh, back at this time, there was uh, some promoters who say, okay, we will have, uh, I don't know, Monica Cruzi here and also Armin van Buren. And we will put Kai Tressy between these two guys mm -hmm. because he will make the the bridge over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So, and I feel very good in this position. Mm -hmm. So I was talking to, to, to Sony and I say, hey, listen, the next track will be Transnacid. And they say, oh, no way, we are now big in this big, big radio stations mm -hmm. in Germany where they play all the pop yeah. stuff. Yeah, if you make the next track like uh, Amin Verboon or ATB with, with, with a singer, you will be the big breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Maybe we will get number one in Germany. Mm -hmm. And they say, no, I feel, feel quite good with this yeah. between the chairs. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to have trans and acid. Yeah. And they go, oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> it's so hard to work with you. Okay, we make trans and acid. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, since the riff of life is too short, it's based on, uh, okay, here comes my German, uh, Flug auf dem Glücksrach yeah. by Klaus uh, Dollinger. Yeah. Uh, did you ever hear his thoughts about your version? Pardon? Uh, did you ever hear his thoughts about your version, like his opinion? Did he like your version? Ah, oh, I never heard. No, 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 no. So you never got to meet him? No, no, I never met oh. him and uh, no, no. Okay. I know that uh, the fun, fun, fun story is uh, there was a lot of cover versions for my track. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so they put all the, the parts I put in, and actually uh, the the whole riff from uh, Never Ending Story, I didn't make uh, use it one by one. I changed some notes mm -hmm. because it fits more to to trans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so also they used the same stuff I did, and also the the core uh, this bam 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 bam. They also used this. But Klaus Dollinger gave them the rights to use it because he owned the rights now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, how important has life is too short been for your career? Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think this was the most important uh, track for no? me. Uh, yes, it was the most successful. But uh, I think other tracks like Transnacid was more important. Yeah. Especially for these days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but did, did this one help your DJ career as well, for example, because more people got to know you because you had like a top 10 hit? No, I don't no? think so. Okay. Um, so yeah, during the year... Because, because, because sorry to... to no worries. And, and, uh, because at this time, I was between the chairs. I was playing on Time Warp, you know, where only the techno DJs yeah, were all, playing. All the cool people, yeah. The only the cool people playing, yeah. playing and all the stuff, so... Um, yeah. Yeah, so you, so you did like the, the cool parties and you also did a little bit more commercial ones and... Uh, yeah, yeah I, 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 yeah, I was... I mean, of course, yeah, you always want to be the cool guy. Mm -hmm. But I never was it, because yeah. I uh, never took drugs. Mm -hmm. I never, was not the guy who was smoking in mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. You know, the cool guys was going into corner yeah. and smoking, yeah. and I was never smoking, mm -hmm. yes. So, and I was lucky that uh, uh, my music was... Kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, but well, after school you became the cool guy, right? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Yeah. Have you ever seen uh, fans who have tattoos with uh, the lyrics of uh, "Life's Too Short," for example? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, a lot of uh, people sending me uh, their, 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 their tattoos, mm -hmm. and I mean, it, it's it's not that I vented. Uh, Life is too short. I mean, mm -hmm. it was it was a sentence before, so mm -hmm. but. Um, yeah, it's it's crazy that uh, there are some people that are also interested in the lyrics I wrote, mm -hmm. and um, it's uh, it's it's good to see. Yeah, it's like a, it must be a special feeling. Yeah, it's a special feeling, yeah. and also I, I really appreciate that people share uh, the stuff with me, like. Hey, uh, at this time I've uh, went to uh, to a hard time, and uh, then you sent me, uh, and then I listened to your tracks, and it mm -hmm. helped me a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, I was never uh, thought that the lyrics are uh, as much important for the people as I I, I thought, because. Uh, I mean, like uh, Boris uh, Brecher, you know, uh, he's a huge techno artist now, but um, when I found Instagram for me <laughs> and started to, to do my own page, I was contacting him and say, hey, it's uh, nice stuff you're doing. And uh, he was like, oh, wow, that's a pleasure. Thank you, Kai. Uh, I was a huge fan of your music back in the days and your music helped me a lot. I said, wow, I never thought about it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, 
I'm I'm very thankful that people share this to me. Yeah, yeah. Because um, it's like if you on the street and paint a picture, and people walk through and they say nothing to you, mm -hmm. and you say, oh, maybe I'm a shit painter, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. But if people come around and say, hey, that's a good painting, yeah. then. I think this is the point. What what we all need. Yeah. 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 Recognition. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's not like fishing for compliments. It's not what I'm trying to do, but uh, it's so important that if you recognize that somebody's doing something great, it's like uh, if you like the food that your mother is doing for you, and then you you should tell your mother the yeah. food was good. Yeah. Or your 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 partner is doing something well for you. It's so easy to just tell them, hey, wasn't nice for you from you that you made this for yeah. me or that. Yeah. And it means so much to the people mm -hmm. if you just use some words. Yeah. It's so easy for you. Yeah. Just yeah. do it. V very true. Yeah. So uh, next year, it's exactly 20 years ago since uh, Life is Too Short came out. Yeah. Um, are there any plans for the 20th anniversary? No. No? No. 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 I mean, it was my only cover version and I want to leave it the last one so okay yeah it's it's uh, I don't play it much often because it is it, it was the, the point where I was going through I don't I mean I'm scum I'm commercial of course because mm -hmm. I'm selling records I'm making money mm -hmm. this is the definition of being yeah. commercial yeah. yeah so everybody who's selling records or uh, get a lot of money uh, in this industry and saying he's underground mm -hmm. it's it's yeah, it's, it's not bullshit. true yeah, yeah it's yeah. bullshit yeah. yes but uh, but it was uh, the point where uh, the music becomes a little bit at the tip of it's gonna be cheesy mm -hmm. and I don't want to go there yeah. for me personally yeah. so I was like okay that was the, the hardest point point to get cheesy and let's go back yeah so um, yeah, of course, uh, Life is Too Short came out via your own uh, label, uh, Tracet Tracks. Um, uh, there haven't been uh, any new releases on the label for a while already. Yeah, you, we already spoke about it like in the previous interview, interview but you're uh, planning to bring Tracet Tracks back, right? So uh, a lot of people ask me for this mm -hmm. and um, um, the only problem is that now it's much much harder to to get realized to get recognized by the people i mean there's so many good tracks every yeah. day out yeah as i said if i'm i'm looking for um so actually what i'm trying not to do is like um doing dj mixes here and then send it to to uh to a radio station or something else. I did one for Luminosity because I know these guys and they make a lot of amazing party and I'm very happy that I was, uh, I was part of it. But normally I always say, no guys, I don't want to do a DJ mix. Uh, I want to play in front of people, yeah. but I don't want to do a DJ mix at mm -hmm. home and then send it to mm -hmm. a radio station or something else. But um, so for the few times I need new records, I was, doing a big research on, on what what are good tracks at the moment, what I like. And there are so, so many good records that don't have even a chance to get recognized. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so I'm so I'm a bit afraid if I uh, starting to tracks now without, uh, don't know in the market, don't know how uh, you get a track out there mm -hmm. uh, with any help I, I, I'm too afraid I'm gonna fail yeah it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be yeah. super difficult but at least you, you have the name you know people know you and yeah yeah I have the name I have the rights even if Instagram is not giving me the blue point yeah <laughs> <laughs> I was trying a few times and they say no they say hey I've got the patent mm -hmm. for the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got the name rights of Tracet. Yeah. Nobody else can use it. And uh, but no, 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 we don't give you the blue point. Yeah. But uh, anyways, um, yeah, I've, uh, I will see. Uh, maybe in the future, maybe I will group up with some people who know the business. Yeah. And uh, Okay, well, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Good luck with everything. You. 
All right, that was it. My interview with Kai Tresset about his track, Life is Too Short. Kai, thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, leave a comment in the comment section below, and very important, make sure to subscribe. Also make sure to click the bell button, because then you will get a notification the next time a new vlog is online. I did two more interviews with Kai, the first one is online already, uh, that one is about his track Your Own Reality, so you can already find that one on my channel, and in a couple of weeks you can see my interview with Kai about his classic Trance and Acid, so stay tuned. Once again, thanks for watching and until next time, bye bye.